Howdy heck and hello H2O's Roller Bros and Mr. Cows alike. I am your guide Q. Welcome back to some freaking quit your BS and that happened. I haven't done this in forever. Really excited to get back into these subreddits. Let's do it. Fan makes a store switch Lil Pump for Eminem. I was at the store and some Lil Pump mumble rap music was playing. I said out loud, switch that to some Eminem. Everyone agreed with me and we protested till they turned the music. The manager was so scared. Everyone clapped for me at the end. Okay, so one, I've, I've never been in a store, listened to, like, the retail store's music, and been like, oh, I should ask somebody to change this. Like, it's just retail music. It usually sucks all the time. Uh, also, I'm just, like, so happy that in 2021, people are still creating fake stories with everyone claps at the end. It's just, tradition is alive. Okay, I believe that this story is from Tumblr, and I honestly, like, I wish that there was a place that specifically collected fake Tumblr stories, because in my opinion, they are the cream of the crop. Here we go. The, uh, somebody posts, as an atheist, putting my hand on the Bible and saying an oath before testifying to a court is less likely to get me to tell the truth than a pinky promise. Another person responds, When my parents were fighting for custody, I was old enough to have a say, so they put me under oath to assure I was being honest with my feelings. Using my best serious face, knowing what was coming, when offered the Bible to swear on, I requested to swear on the secretary's hole punch, because it's far more honest. It says it's going to punch a hole, and it does. Best God I've seen today. My mom buried her face in her hands. My dad sighed and rubbed his forehead. The judge almost choked on his water before telling the bailiff, Find this young lady a hole punch! That's a pretty epic win right there in my book, man. I'm sure all the Jesus fans in the audience, in the audience in the courtroom, were uh, were very were very shocked and surprised that the judge allowed you to do that. This is this is cool. So this guy posted on r slash pics. Finally married after postponing due to the virus. Reddit meet my wife and. Uh, the certificate itself says July on it, so this guy was either lying about when he got married to, I don't know, I guess look more responsible during the pandemic, or this just isn't him at all, and he's just using somebody else's picture. Either way, strange. Just, just strange. Don't do this. Tried to get my vaccine this morning, but my arms were too big for the needle and kept breaking it. The nurse was like, wow, these are the biggest arms we've ever seen, and we just had Dwayne The Rock Johnson in here last week. I guess I gotta take it easy in the gym. Just, 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 no, just, this would never happen, and you gotta bring up, you gotta use the full Dwayne The Rock Johnson, just call him The Rock, or call him, I just, 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 I'm just confused, guys, I just need help here. Okay, this one, I believe, has freaking layers to it. This is insane. Somebody posted this on r slash nice guys. This email I got last night from a very creepy guy. Title of the email, please date me to girl I love. Subject, please date me. I love you. I think about you every single night. I'm sorry for following you and stalking you. I was just so in love. Please date me and give the nice guy a chance. I'm sick of seeing you date douchebags. Please, I know what's right for you. The nice guy somebody comments is that why it's in draft form from the perspective of the sender very creepy op responds no it's not he sent me this and i am very creeped out you're a sexist another commenter says this isn't an inbox lol you literally just typed it this is my inbox i guess no one believes a woman when they say they are harassed hashtag believe all women you can literally see the cursor at the end. Okay, so forgive me because this is going to get a little tinfoil hat-y, but here's my take on what is going on here. Either this person really messed up and accidentally posted, like, the frickin' draft of the email instead of the actual contents of the email and was just trying to get karma on nice guys. Like, this person clearly just wanted to get karma. That's one thing. But my personal theory is that I think that this person's trying to, like, make feminists look stupid and bad because of just, like, how obvious it is that this is an inbox, then calling the person a 
sexist, throwing in the hashtag believe all women. Like, it just comes off to me as someone who wants to, like, make women look bad. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Maybe it's just an idiot. I'm not sure. I mean, it's obviously an idiot, but it's just what genre of idiot are we dealing with here? Yesterday, I fed a kitten, and the next day, it brought a whole bunch of cats to me. Okay, so in the the, the first pick, the, 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 the cat seems to be real. The second pick with two cats, they both seem to be real. And then for some reason, he decides to Photoshop in five more cats that are exact copies of the first cat. Like, could you have not, like, looked up more cats or maybe, like taken the two cats and tried to like spread them out a little bit maybe like add in a couple marks to make them look different like this is just lazy i don't i just don't appreciate it real conversation today obstetrician this baby looks really amazing how old are you again almost 42 that is truly amazing what in the world are you taking my inventions. Boston C, lightning in a bottle, megadose vitamin C, pixie dust magnesium, and doctor's shake. Do you mind if I start prescribing those to my patients? Of course. Okay, so, uh, this is obviously, this is like to promote a multi-level marketing company, and it's just like, it's, who is gonna actually believe this? They see a doctor, see a single person, an anecdotal case of somebody taking these substances or supplements or whatever and having a healthy child and then immediately without any research or anything they're like yeah let me let me start putting this into my practice this is ready to go okay so this post also involves somebody having a baby at 42 years old but i i don't think it's related to the previous post maybe it is not sure Truth, lots of rumors going on about me. I'm usually a private person, but want my friends to know. I've been off two weeks because of a tummy tuck. I had a baby at 42 years old and needed a little help because sit-ups weren't going to do it. LOL, I've never had this much pain in my life. The lipo killed me. Would rather have left that 7 to 8 pound fat roll alone. P.S. I was not in jail. The DEA has not busted my doors down, and I think the law enforcement knows where I live. Now, gossip about something else. Our 30th class reunion is coming up, and I wanted to look natural ASAP. Please share. And I guess a couple days later, an article came out that the DEA actually did raid this woman's clinic. So, uh, just caught directly in a lie. I don't know why you would do that. This sort of thing is always going to come out. I guess you wanted to try and control the narrative, but that's, that's hard to do when you're lying about what happened. Somebody posts on Twitter a statue of Yasuke, an African slave who arrived in Japan in 1579 and became the first black samurai. Pretty freaking cool. Somebody responds, and he wasn't the first black samurai. They've got martial arts on the walls of Egypt. He was the first black samurai in the colonized world. <laughs> this dude responds, dude, knowing martial arts doesn't make you a samurai. They were Japanese warriors slash noblemen. Yasuke is considered a samurai because his ass was in Japan. By your logic, this dude is a samurai too. Insert picture of nerdy looking white dude. Alright, here's a Facebook post from Women's Humor. Boy in the pub was telling me his job is a penguin erector, so every time a plane flies over the Edinburgh Zoo, the penguins can't take their eyes off of it and end up falling over, and he just goes around picking them back up. 38 penguins, 2,000 flights a day. And there is a related article immediately underneath it from, like, a fact-checking thing, I guess Facebook has that now, saying that, no, the Edinburgh Zoo does not employ a penguin erector. <laughs> and while um, I appreciate that there are fact-checking things out there, like, immediately under posts, it is kind of sad because it sort of defeats that, like, at least little bit of mystery when, before you go to Google, where you're wondering if there's actually somebody whose adorable job is to just pick up penguins all day. So some influencer dude posts on Twitter, Meet my new best friend Charles, at I-O-H-K Charles, up eight figures in four weeks, and I earned 5.5% in passive income on top of this. Hashtag Vegas Dave, hashtag Cardano, hashtag ADA, hashtag Bitcoin, hashtag crypto, hashtag cryptocurrency. The dude on the left in the picture responds, Please don't Photoshop yourself into pictures with me. I don't know you. I don't want to know you. We 
we have no business together. That is such a strong statement. Not only I don't know you, but I don't want to know you. Like, our business relationship will never begin. Um, it's just great. I just love this. It's a great response from this dude. The Photoshop is horrible. It looks like there's literally a car like a cardboard cutout of the dude on the right photoshopped into the pic. It's just it's just brutal. This is sad. I hope you're actually up eight figures. That's, what? What are you talking about, bro? So, no acoustic outro for today. I actually, if you like those, I did post a little acoustic song that I came up with on Q2, so I'll leave a link to that in the comments if you're interested. Having said that, I would like to give a major shout out to Sir Almond Coconut, Alex Estelle, June, Matthew Kendall, Crazy Connor, Caitland, Beth the Dork, Who Me, Dot Dot Dot, Swift Wolf Coyote, Loki411, Kennedy DeSilvis, Mac in Paradise, Caleb Grills, Ghost Spoons, Roller Geeks, James Barnoski, Miss Inked, Tay P, Hyper Ninja Child, Jared D, Regrettable Stitches, Allison B, For Jared, Connor G, Cryptid, Fennec, Kaya Bay, Tasha K, and Katko, as well as everyone else you see on your screen. I'm also working on like a super long video. It'll probably be like over an hour in length. It's about this really cringy 4chan, 4chan green text story. So keep an eye out for that in the future. I hope you guys are all doing super well, skating on to the best of your abilities, drinking a sufficient amount of water, and I'll see you super soon. Peace out, Cub Scouts. Skate on, rollerbladers.